I'm told I'm forced. I don't have a choice but to be at homecoming in Nashville in a Monsters ball match. Well, I'll put it to you just like this. I already took out Joseph Park. There is no chance of business showing up. Why? You haven't seen him since. And if you looked at the damage, whack, whack, whack. Good night, dummy. Game over. So impact management, you can attempt to intimidate me all you want. You can attempt to try and get me to be scared and back down. But at homecoming, I'll put it to you just like this. I'll do what I have to. I'm an adapter. If Abyss somehow pulls himself out of the grave, rolls his dead carcass into this ring, I will become, as I already have a Tommy Dreamer, I will become exactly what I hate. You know why? Because I am the last of a dying breed. Which means I'm good enough to be anything I want. Good enough to beat you at your own game. I am that good and I am hardcore. He's back. He's back and he's brought a chair. The innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. He wants more of Eli Drake. Oh, and the battle's on! Dreamer with a chair off the back! Tommy, looking for the DDT! Dreamer's gonna return the favor for what Eli did! What the heck? What? It's Raven! Oh my God! It's Raven and Dreamer! They're gonna go at it? They're gonna go, I'd love to see this! God, tell him. You tell him. You tell him. Dreamer looks like he's seen a ghost. Yeah, Eli's trying to get them to fight. Playing on that multi-year feud that nearly ruined both of their lives. And yes. Raven and Dreamer! Yes! Yes! Eat it, Eli! Quote the Raven! Nevermore! And only in Impact Wrestling will you see these two standing together just for a moment. Eli Drake went to Shady Acres and visited Raven last month, told him that he blames Raven for making hardcore wrestling popular. Eli told Raven that he wanted him to watch as Eli destroys Abyss this Sunday at Homecoming.